Welcome to Camp Moore Bark Less. This is a special episode. It's called Cooler Hack to Save Your Back. Hello, I'm Chris with Camp Moore Bark Less, and today we're going to modify this cooler so that we can drain it from inside the RV without having to take it down the steps. So come on, let's check this out. What we have here is just a standard Igloo Marine Latitude cooler. Got it from Walmart, I'm pretty sure. And what we do is we use this to store like iced teas and waters and stuff in it. We tried like a Yeti knockoff at first, but they were just way too heavy empty with nothing in them. It's 85 cans, 50 quarts. When this thing is full, I don't know how much it weighs, but it's pretty darn heavy. So what we have here is you got the drain on the bottom and typical cooler, you just pop it off and drain the water out. The problem is since we're in an RV, I got to carry this thing down the steps, get it outside, drain it and then bring it back up in here let me tell you when it's full of iced teas and waters and ice and other water man this thing is just way too heavy i'm tired of carrying it up and down the stairs out the rv just to drain it so i came up with a solution the first thing i came up with was a piece of pvc hose or vinyl hose i guess a pvc valve shut off and some clamps and just clamp this bad boy right on here just like that and we can drain it run this hose outside and drain it Here's the problem. Ice cold water goes through this hose and it gets stiff as a two by four. You go to roll it back up. This part here pops off the cooler. And when it does that, all your water starts leaking out. Scrap that idea. I've brewed some homebrew beer before. And if anybody has done that, they know exactly what this part is. This is called a kettle valve. It goes onto a brew kettle and it's made so you don't have to pick up the heavy kettle to dump the wort out of. So it's got a shank on it it's got a red o-ring and a big nut and it's all stainless steel it's overkill that it's all stainless steel but i knew that homebrew shop was going to have exactly what i need to replace that with a piece with its own heavy duty shutoff valve a barbed fitting good to go and how i solved the hose getting stiff when the cold water goes through it what we use in the brewery when we brew is a piece of silicone hose and i'm thinking that this silicone hose is not going to get stiff or as stiff as the the PVC vinyl hose. So let's go ahead and install this. You can see there's just a giant nut in here. We'll unscrew that, pop it off, pop off the seal. So that's all there is, just those pieces. Grab the old drain out. And I'll keep these pieces just in case this doesn't work out. So since we got <laughs> the valve in the bag, it doesn't actually come assembled. The parts are just kind of sitting in there. So we need to take it apart. They did wrap a little bit of Teflon tape around that, but not a whole bunch. So what we want to do is add some Teflon tape to it. And then I use a little bit of pipe dope. I don't want this thing leaking all in the RV. You can use this like in a van where you can't get the cooler out the door. That'll work. Put the nut on. That's awfully sloppy. So we got our pipe dope all around there. We'll screw this one on in. There we go, now this is ready to go in the cooler. Okay, now that we got the valve all assembled, let's go over the parts and pieces of this thing so you can see how it actually goes together. In the kit that I got, you get the valve, you got the threaded shaft that goes through the kettle, but well, it's gonna go through our cooler, and a barbed fitting. You also get a stainless steel washer, you get an O-ring, and you get a piece of uh, like flat washer, it looks like, feels like silicone. And then we get a special nut with a indentation in there and what that does is this o-ring fits into that indentation okay so we have our output hole here where the drain drains out of first thing i'm going to do is use some rubbing alcohol i want to clean that make sure there's no residue on it and the inside so i also want to go ahead and just wipe all this stuff here down Make sure there's no residue on it. I want the silicone to actually stick to something. 
Okay, so this is how it kind of goes together here. You got the shaft, you put this washer on over top of it, then goes the silicone washer. Okay, then this goes through the cooler from the outside, and then this nut and over can go on the inside of the cooler. Now I got it so that the silicone is going into the threads. You're going to need to seal between this thing and the threads also, so that no water can come out, come from behind this washer and come up around the threads. So we'll put our small bead right there in that groove. Or a big bead. Pop our o-ring in the groove. Okay, now I'm going to put some right around here on the surface of the cooler itself. And that's why we wiped it off with rubbing alcohol. Okay, now we can put our nut with the silicone o-ring on it. Right on there. And we'll go ahead and just wipe off the excess silicone. The next step is to put the silicone hose on my barb fitting. And then put the hose clamp on. Well, there you go. I hope you found this to be useful. We're going to be putting it to the test tomorrow because we're getting ready to leave to go across the country in an RV trip. Five weeks, we're thinking. Four to five weeks. We're going from Florida to California. Rocky Mountain National Park. Death Valley. we got a bunch of stops. Um, I'll let you know. Hopefully this thing doesn't leak all over the floor and flood the camper. Uh, stay tuned to some of our newer videos on this trip and you'll be able to see this in action. I'll do a little segment in one of the videos of draining it and We'll see if the silicone hose actually does get any stiffer or not. And uh, But I think it's going to be a great thing. No more carrying this cooler up and down the stairs. All right, we're going to go ahead and give the cooler a try. All right, there's the cooler. I had to put some insulation around it to get it, keep it from condensating, but it's still condensating up on that nut, and it's also condensating on the plastic itself. So I don't know how we're going to fix it yet. The fix for right now is putting a towel underneath it. And they had a hard day today riding on the couch, which is now folded down into a bed just to give them some extra room. All right, so let's get this cooler drained. Now that is a whole lot easier than picking that cooler up full and bringing it down here or putting it on the picnic table and letting it drain. That's so much easier. All right, the cooler's all done drained. And this is really cold, ice cold, but look how flexible it still is. It's not like the other PVC vinyl tubing that got stiff as a two by four. So this was a great idea. Now, if you're new here, appreciate watching if you're a returning uh, subscriber thank you appreciate the subscribe and uh, and we'll see you guys on the road thank you